<laughs> in February, Michael and Jessica Henson took their dog Hank to Lifetime Pet Center in New Richmond to be neutered. They say they were told the surgery went well, no complications. But once home, Hank seemed ill. He was just pacing around like, like a, it was like a zombie. Um, and he was getting to the point where he was unresponsive to his name. The German Shepherd couldn't keep down food or water. I decided that I was going to take him to MedVet to get an IV of fluids and have him look him over. Doctors there found Hank's bladder was four times the normal size, so they went in for exploratory surgery. The surgeon that was actually operating on us called us and said, and I could just tell from the tone of his voice, he, he was like, you know, I, I don't know how to tell you this, but this is what we just discovered. According to the complaint filed in Claremont County, the vet at Lifetime Pet Center had irreparably severed Hank's bladder from his urethra. His lymph nodes and prostate had also been removed. There was a whole section that wasn't that was supposed to be there that wasn't there. To prevent further pain and suffering, the Hensons decided to put Hank down. They're suing for negligence and intentional infliction of emotional distress. So here we have, what I think, one of the best set of facts you could possibly find where you know, this really serious intentional conduct that leads to really serious pain with this family, watching this dog horrendously suffer over the course of an evening. Henson says they can't bring Hank back, but want to ensure he didn't die in vain. One way or another, he should be stopped before it happens again. Lifetime Pet Center released a statement saying in part, quote, in more than four decades of practice, we've never encountered an incident like this, and frankly, we're devastated. It goes on to say, quote, we can assure you that the characterization of the facts in this case has been inaccurate and misleading. It's true there were unforeseen complications. The patient did not survive, and we are heartbroken about it. We can assure all of you we always strive to provide this community with the highest level of veterinary care for your pets.